A group of strangers working together to earn up to $1 million, and that in the end, only one of them will win. One of these players is the Mole, a double agent we hired working for us against the other ten. At the end of each episode, the players take the quiz, ten questions about the Mole. The quiz determines who stays and who goes, because the player who scores the lowest on the quiz is executed and is sent home immediately. Up to $1 million hinges on discovering who is the Mole. You know, after Cosmic went, it was kind of like shocking. And the fact that like it was me, it's kind of a wake up call. I'm still mostly leaning towards what I suspected, but obviously anything can change. I'm very happy still being in the game. My suspicions of people who are still in the game are slowly diminishing. So I feel like I'm really on top of this game and I'm doing really good. Why wouldn't the producers keep me in? Everyone else is stupid. I'm pretty excited that I've made it this far. I've never really made it this far in these kind of games. I'm hoping I'm on a trail of the mole. I'm telling everyone I have no idea, but I think I'm on them. Glad to see you all here again. Hopefully by now you've gotten to know each other. After all, you've been together for a while now. So, I bet some of you are chomping at the bit for this moment. I want all of you to come up with the name of the person who will be neutralized. This player will be unable to earn an exemption this round. Talk no, about yourselves. Game Show Lily said if he's gonna, if he has a chance at exemption, he's going for it. Okay, but y you're the mole. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, I agree, so Nolan. <laughs> wow. Okay, Nolan, but the thing is, this is not being being rude at all, but like, if we don't give you a chance at getting an exemption, and you're not the mole, you are our weakest player, that's not me being rude. I understand so if, that, but I'm saying, even if I am weak, and I do try to go for the exemption, I'm not gonna get it. It's just a way. Know, okay, okay, no, see, here's the thing. The, the exemption could not could be more than just shooting a target. It could just be saying, screw everyone over, you get an exemption. Okay, but we just I went it. for it. In the okay, past. everybody, I, I need you guys to please come to a decision. Everybody vote on the person who will be neutralized this round. I say Nolan. No one. No one. That's three, it's we three. need a fourth. I'm gonna say game show. I'm gonna say game show too. That's two for game show, three for Nolan. I'll, I'll say Nolan. Okay, that is okay, Nolan, please step it. forward. All right. Now, as <laughs> it was stated, uh, Nolan, you are unable to earn an exemption for this round of the game. However, there wasn't gonna be one anyway, so don't worry. And now I need you to follow me. Oh, oh gosh, darn it. What do we do? For this task, it is going to be your job to pair off the remaining six players. Each pair will duel in one of three small challenges. The first duel is called knockoff, where two players will try to be the first person to knock the other person off of this bridge and into the water below. The second duel is a PvP duel, where they will use stone swords to try to be the last player standing. The third and final duel is mining, where the players will use the materials in their chests and what they find in their section to dig up all eight of their diamonds. You will not only be deciding who will be facing who, in which duel, but you will also be predicting the winner of those duels. If you successfully predict the winner, you will earn $10,000 for the group pot. However, if your prediction is wrong, that money will go into the moles pot. Get all three correct, that's $30,000. It's that simple. So, you can't tell any of the other players about the predictions, understand? Alright. Let's go back over. Okay, everyone, this task is called Face Off. Nolan was given the task of splitting you guys off into pairs, where you will duel one another in one of three challenges. Nolan, please reveal who is facing off against who. No, I don't know, like, half of you that good, so I'm gonna have to go with Coon and Scott in PvP, Marks and Game Show Man in Knockoff, and then Jervy and Chazza, you get to go mining. First up is the PvP duel of Khan and Scott. Please follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm bad at PvP. I have, I have no chance. Shut up, Khan. The first person to kill the other person will win the duel. Do you guys understand? Yes, sir. On your marks. Get set. Begin. 
No, wait, wait, wait. Let, let's let's figure this out. I don't think no. Okay, okay. Damn, but this just fight and like it's 50-50, honestly. 50-50, no, but like no, okay. up. <laughs> This is so funny. <laughs> Just hit each other! Just kill each other! That's a fit! <laughs> They're fisting each other! Are you serious? Oh my god, what the f Can you guys, like, I don't know, not prolong yeah. this? Oh! And Khan wins the PvP duel! Okay, that's a mole move by Scott. Just saying, uh, no matter who my opponent was in that challenge, as long as it was PvP, I was sure I was gonna win. The fight was like a wet noodle battle. On go! You guys will use the materials in your chest provided and the materials that you guys could find in your colored section below. And you must mine the eight diamonds that are in your section. The first person to mine all eight and place them on their colored board in the back will be declared the winner. I don't really know what Chaza does. He's a quiet man, that's for sure. On your marks, get set, begin. This is intense. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Jervy. That was Jervy dumb. Gets... Jervy bought a shovel for the sand for the first layer. <laughs> ah, sh that's not a good idea. How about this? How about this? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Chaza, Whoa. have you found any diamonds yet? Welcome everyone to another Minecraft Let's Play. We are crafting here. <laughs> Jerry has the iron pick. Yeah, so that's Chaza and... Oh, I found another diamond. How many diamonds do you have? I don't think he has eight because he would have won by now. I mean, Chaza is smarter than me. True. Hey, I found my last diamond. Nice. Cool. Oh, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chaza wins. Seven. <laughs> nice. That was Congratulations, Chazza! You have won the duel. And with that, we are moving on to the third and final duel. Since he was Jervy and it was a lot com, I was for sure winning unless he was using X-ray, which he usually does. But... I I tried to like conversate with him, like seeing where he was, like how many diamonds he had. He just didn't want to talk. It's, it's so quiet. And kind of makes me feel like he could have a potential to be the mole. On go. You guys will use your knockback sticks to knock the other person off the bridge into the water or past their colored line. Do either of those things and you'll be declared the winner. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yeah. On your marks. Get set. Go. Wait. Um, go, whoever wins. No, wait. Stop, stop. Okay. I mean, Hold stop, up. no. Because I was trying to tell you something that might have been useful, but... Oh, and Marx wins the duel. Game show doesn't scare me. His abilities, challenges have been lackluster thus far. And I knew I was going to beat him, hands down, because I'm the best. Forget all the rest. I thought I was going to win, if I'm honest. Because from what I've heard, Marx hasn't been really performing to what he's used to. So I thought I was going to beat him pretty easily. I almost did, but hey, that's how it goes. Okay, Nolan, I'm going to reveal the players that you predicted that they would win their duel. In the PvP duel of Khan and Scott, no one predicted that Khan would be the winner, which means you guys have earned $10,000. Nice. In the duel of Chaza and Jervy, no one predicted that Jervy would be the winner, which means $10,000 <laughs> wow. goes into the mole's <laughs> pot. In the final duel of Marks in Game Show, he predicted that marks would be the winner, which means $10,000 is added to the group pot, give you guys a total of $20,000. Why would you predict Jervy over me? Hold on. I, don't I have no clue! I'll see you guys in the next task. I thought it was weird how Nolan picked Jervy to win over Chaza. I mean, we've all kind of been saying one of them two is the mole. How the heck would Jervy win, even if he wasn't the mole? Very smart of Nolan to predict me to lose, obviously. I'm surprised that Nolan picked me to win, honestly, because I don't really know him. And if anything, the other two people he picked to win kind of seems like a molish type of thing. After some needed relaxation at the Mole's Mansion, the players are quickly whisked away to start their next task. Hello everyone! 
You are all currently standing in an art gallery, kindly hosted by the Mole. Unfortunately, you are not just here for leisure, since it is the location of your next task. It is called, Where Art Thou? And here's how it works. This is a task Where of observation thou? and communication skills. One at a time, I'll take you into a room and show you a piece of art. You will then have to pick someone to be your eyes. How well you do will depend on how well you can describe that piece of art to someone else in 30 seconds. That person will then have two minutes to search the art gallery and pick out the exact piece of art you described to them. For each piece of art that is correctly chosen, $7,500 will be added to the group pod. If they pick incorrectly, then the mole will earn that money. If all seven of you get it, then $53,000 will be added to the group pod. A quick rule, each player can only explore the art gallery once, so keep that in mind. With that said, the first person up is going to be, I'm going to just going to go from left to right. Khan, please follow me. I'm going to suck at this. Okay, so I'm going to get you your first piece of art. You can look at it. Wait, what? This is the piece of art. E what the heck? Once you think you're ready, I'll need you to tell me who you want to be your eyes. Okay, I'll pick game show. Okay, game show it is. You have 30 seconds to describe the painting to game show. Go. Okay, game show. This is like pretty important information. Top right is white. Bottom right is kind of grayish. Right above that bottom right area, it's like blackish. And it also, if you just look at it straight, it looks like sand, like a desert. The desert is the main thing you're looking for, okay? Tilt your head left, it looks like a tree, and it's a desert. Time, you are not allowed to talk. Yes. Con, please stop talking. Uh -huh. Game show, follow me. Okay. Dear. Gosh, this is vague. <laughs> you will have two minutes to select the piece of art. Begin. That's, that can't be, um... Con, this is the point of challenge where you tell us what's going on. What? Oh, he said I can't say anything about it. He Why said I can't say game anything. Show? Why not? Because Game Show said he was literally going to be bad at it. He immediately said, oh, it's observation, I'm going to be bad at this. I mean, whatever. Hopefully he gets it. Uh, be it, um... Black and an orange. Okay, that could be it. Um... I can't... I'm stuck between two. Like, it's either this one or that one. I don't see a tree, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't see a tree in either one. I don't know if that's me being stupid or... I'm going to say it's this one. This is your final answer? Yes. Okay, you may enter the art gallery. Con, is this the piece of art that you saw? No. It, it's basically what I saw, except it's not sand. It's our game show. I mean, Game Show Man was like, oh no, I'm bad at this, as soon as we even started. And then Kuhn immediately picked Game Show, I'm like, oh, wh why? I think he described it well, I just had a bad time of picking out which ones were, because I doubted myself. Okay, Marks, you're up. Oh, perfect. Marks, this is the painting you have to describe. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember this. Who do you want to be your eyes? Scott. Okay, I'll get Scott in here. Okay, so it's just a blob of colors. There is a tiny bit of yellow on the left, and then the center should be orange with a splash of red on it. Like, there's, like, a lot of red on it. You will have two minutes to look in the art gallery, do you understand? Your time starts now. Marks described the painting to me absolutely perfectly. As soon as I walked into the back, I saw the painting, knew what it was. Is that your final choice? Yes, that is my final choice, Ethan. Marks, is this the painting that you described to Scott? That is! Congratulations, you guys have yeah. earned the $7,500 for this Easy painting. Money. Okay, game show, you're up next. Please follow me. Okay, so on the top left corner and bottom right corner, there's going to be maroon. Maroon? What the heck is a maroon? Maroon. Like, like it's purple. It's like okay, dark. Okay, 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 okay. And in the center? In the middle, you should see a lot of pink. Uh, maybe a little bit of blue here and there. Please enjoy your time. What the heck? Some of these look really nice. He said, maroon. What the heck is a maroon? Oh. Is I'm this sorry. your choice? <laughs> yeah. Game show, is this the piece of art that you described to Khan? That is! Ooh. Nice! Congratulations, you guys are uh, two for three. Nolan, you're up next, please follow me. My partner described it basically spot on. The only reason I had any trouble was because it was the last painting I saw. All right, Jeremy, so this painting, in the all the way in the top, it's mostly white, and at the bottom, it's really, really purple and sort of black. Your two minutes yeah. begins now. Okay. 
Like, I, I was a little bit hesitant when I came in. It's like, oh, I, I don't see it. Is there someone here? Oh, this is it. Unfaithful. I picked this one. Okay, thank you. Let's head back out. Nolan, I need to know, is this the painting that you described to Jeremy? It is the painting. Nice! Congratulations, you guys are three for four. It is now time for Jervy to describe a painting, and he has chosen Nolan to be his eyes. Okay, so Nolan, I cannot describe colors because it's weird. Uh, it looks like a car mixed with a bug. It's mostly blue, and um, there's also a bit of yellow in it. It's really weird, but just think of a car that looks like a bug. Nolan, your two minutes starts now. I have to describe him. It looks like a bug, but also a car. That's it. <laughs> Wait, that's it? No, Wait, that's it? Nolan's not getting no, no, it. You mean a buggy? No. Well, no, thanks, guys. Jervy, yeah. is this the painting that you described to Nolan? That's it! Oh, my God. You guys are four for five, with two more paintings left to find. Scott, you're up. He did kind of describe what it looked like. I mean, you could see like the car seats, like the inside of a car, but from my point of perspective, it, it was a bad like description at first, but when I went in there, it made more sense. The painting is a bunch of random like dots of color. All the dots are very small. The bottom left has gray paint in it, and the top right has like a sun shine yellow. And like all the dots are very small, a lot smaller than most of the other paintings in there. Chezo, you have two minutes, begin. He made it very obvious of which painting I had to go to, just because he knew what he was talking about and he knew where to direct to me. I'm gonna pick that one, Zeus. Is this your final decision? Mm-hmm. Scott, is this the painting that you described to Chazza? Yes, I believe it is. Congratulations, you guys are five for six. And last but not least is Chazza. Please follow me into the office. Okay, it's just, there's so much red on it, and then the top right corner is pink. Then there's like a black line in the middle and stuff. But there's just loads of red and pink in the top right corner. That's all you need to know, literally. Okay. Your two minutes in the art gallery begin now. Oh. Not it. That's 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 not it. Oh, this could be it. Chaza described it perfectly to me. There was no suspicion there, and I think that it was a great partnership. Final answer, salvation. Locks in. Okay, let's head back into the other room. Chaza, is okay. this is this the painting that you described to Marx? Yes. Congratulations, you guys, from nice. six twerks, twerks, to seven. Yes. Twerks, twerks. So, with this task, you guys earned $45,000 for the group pot, raising it to $217,000. The moles pot is now officially at $206,000, but you guys are still in the lead. Hey. Nice. And with that, I'll see you guys at the execution tonight. I don't think anything malicious stood out in that challenge. The, I mean, apart from the game show bringing back basically exactly what I described, but like inverted or whatever. It was difficult to say anything was malicious in that last task. It didn't seem like that difficult of a task. The only thing that stood out to me was the first round of con picking game show. That's the only one that lost. Then there wasn't many paintings in there, and it should have been pretty easy. Once again, the players return to the mole's mansion and converse before the quiz. I mean, look, I trust you, Yeah. and I hope you can have a special bond, and like, maybe go to the pound too. If you're the mole, can you mole it so I can be with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the mole, you don't have to worry about that, trust me. I don't that think is what here. everyone's gonna say. <laughs> well, of course I'm gonna say it, even if I was the mole. Like... <laughs> it's like, oh hey, you're the mole? No, I don't believe Unless you. Unless you're double bluffing me, and you're just saying this because you're the mole. 100%. Okay. But don't mole me. I would talk to, like, Jervy about stuff, if um, you still want to. You can actually, like, try to start acting shadier around Jervy for future rounds. Yeah, because if you're ever pushing the idea of me onto Jervy, and you were put as the trustworthy player, so people should be believing you. Next round, if we're both still here, I'm gonna be like, I've solved the case. I literally put every single answer down for Scott. I was in the minority for most of the questions. I'll just be very pushy next round. Yes, yeah, so that's a good idea. After the last quiz, what I answered in the fact that I'm still here, I should be good, but it's just, it's so difficult to know in this game. 
I'm going in the Harry Potter room. Yeah, we should probably okay. all be in. Are you confident about this test at all? Me? Yeah. Not really. Out, out of everyone in the game, like, who do you suspect the most? I was guessing Mark Hardcore, but like, after that last shot, I was not sure. Maybe Nolan? I don't know, because Nolan did both things right. Yeah. So did everyone else but me. <laughs> No, well, technically, like technically you as well, but you know, yeah. even though it wasn't really your fault. You know, you, you brought me back the exact same thing, except it was inverted. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of suspicious that there were two that looked like the same. A lot of people aren't very suspecting of Khan, Nolan, and Game Show specifically. So if I can implant into their heads that maybe Jervy is the mole when I don't think he is, then they have a higher chance of going home than I do. Con, I'm looking at the other pages. I'm looking at like what I wrote before, and he has definitely done some shady stuff. I say that I'm almost done every time, but it's cutting close every single time. I hope I paid attention enough. It is time once again for the quiz. Ten questions about the mole. Question number one. In task number nine, face off, which pair was the mole in? I threw the challenge because I figured that if Nolan was going to pick a winner, he'd be stupid to pick me. Question 2. In task number 9, Face Off, did the mole start in the red or blue section in their duel? If Chazza knew he had to win so we lose money, then he would try his best. If not, then he would be like the sloppy joe of the group. Question 3. In task number 9, Face Off, did the mole win their duel? I mean, why the could he accuse me to lose against Jervy? Jervy of all people, that's just offensive. Question 4. In task number 9, face off, which duel did the mole play in? Question 5. In task number 10, where art thou? In what order did the mole search the art gallery? Chazza, I mean, the way he questions people makes me feel like he wants to know who's doing bad to, like, help him win money. Question 6. In task number 10, where art thou? Did the mole pick the correct painting? It actually brought my suspicion of Game Show up, and I might guess Game Show on the quiz tonight. Question 7. In task number 10, where art thou? Who did the mole pick to be their eyes? Coon. He's just kind of there, and he doesn't really fit in with the group. Question 8. In task number 10, where art thou? What was the name of the painting that the mole picked? I just don't know. I thought it was Nolan. I think Nolan's way too obvious. Like, oh, I just don't know. Question 9. How many partners has the mole had? I think this time I'm gonna go all out and go big or go home, baby. Question 10. Who is the mole? Welcome everyone to your fifth execution. Players, we have a tie. The difference oh, shoot, was less than a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm going no. home. In a minute, I'll begin entering your names to the computer. If a green screen appears, you are safe. However, if a red screen appears, you are the mole's fifth victim. Oh my god. Scott. Ethan, don't do this to me. You are safe. Oh, <laughs> I'm literally stress eating. I'm stress eating. Nolan. You are safe. Oh. Game show. Come on. You are safe. Well, okay, sweet. Marks. Oh my god. Yep. Okay, thanks guys. Chaza Scott, you know. Chaza Scott, you know. You are safe. <laughs> Chaza. Chaza. I love you guys so much. Jazz, I'm sorry. You are the mole's <gasps> fifth victim. Oh, Please oh, follow who'd me. Who'd you put? Oh my goodness. The first time I don't put Scott. Well, Chazza wasn't a target for me, so I'm sad he's gone. 
I would have liked it if one of my targets went home, because then that means I know I need to change my target. But now I'm just going to have to go with my gut. This is heartbreaking. I had a coalition with Chaza, and to see him go home when we had similar ideas as to who the mole was is really disheartening. And I have to start over in this game. I'm pretty shocked. I mean, Daza basically said he has a lot of notes, and he questioned on why I wasn't taking notes. And, um, well, he's gone now, so. I'm sad for him, but the less people, the closer I am to winning this game. I think Chazago is definitely a hit on my game. Uh, Chaz is definitely someone I trusted to at least be able to provide information to me if I am not able to get the information for myself. So I'm sad. It's hard seeing Chaz go. He's part of the C squad. Um, two C squad members just left back to back. And honestly, Chaz was one of the people I trusted like the most. And he was definitely a smart player because he actually looked out for the who the mole was. And it's really hard to see him go because I personally love Chaz. Chazza, it was a tie tonight. How does it feel knowing that if you took the quiz just a little bit faster, you still could have been here? I mean, I did take it really fast, but it's apparently the person I just didn't think about their answers or something. Then I'm, like, I, I'm usually quick in the quizzes. Did you uh, make any new friends while you were here? I knew everyone here, but like, I feel like I've grown closer to Marks because recently I've just we've had our arguments and stuff. So does that make it bittersweet after you just got to know all these people again? I mean, I'm just happy that it's now, if anything. I'd like to go further, like maybe to the next day, but okay. Well, Chazza, it was an honor hosting you. Thank you for playing. Have a good one. Mm-hmm. I mean, best players living. <laughs>